You know, my name is Robin Seymour. I'm supposed to say a few things about the direct marketing industry, network marketing, what have you, how I first heard about it, what I knew about it, and so forth. You know, it's, it's a long story, and I know I can't talk too long about this, but very briefly, I was a very shy kid. Uh, when I was nine years old, I played the part of the giant and Jack and the Beanstalk in school. The reason they chose me is I was the shortest kid in the school. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing is, see, it was a marionette stage for puppet show, and I was the only one that could fit on the stage. That's how it started. Changed my life. You know, just like things happen in your life, in someone's life that changes the whole direction of where it's going. As I said, I didn't talk to anybody. I was very shy. But after I did this part, the next day when I went to school, all the kids came up to me and said, man, you were great, you were great, especially the girls. Even though I was nine, I felt something. I didn't understand what it was, but I knew it was good. Sure, a few of the people said, oh, big time actor, you know. But, you know, it's nice to be recognized. It's nice to go someplace and a person says to you, hey, aren't you so-and-so? And that's what happened in school. I said then, I'm going to be the greatest actor in the world for all the wrong reasons. But I turned out, meaning that I shouldn't just do it so people will recognize me. I mean, you know what I mean. But the fact, it's a nice feeling. Well, I went on. I did a lot of acting. I was a disc jockey in Detroit for 18 years. I was very fortunate in the 50s to be one of the top 10 disc jockeys in the country. I then went on to meet a fellow by the name of Barry Gordy in 1957, helped him get started with Motown. When I say get started, by playing his records. He didn't need any other help with the great talent they had. In 1963, I started a dance party show in Detroit, Channel 9, which was in Detroit and Windsor. And that was on for seven years. And, you know, the show was so popular and so great because I was terrific. Of course, because every Motown artist that ever recorded was first on my show, had nothing to do with it. Naturally, I'm joking. We were very fortunate to meet with all those groups and that great amount of people that did so much for music all over the world. Really revolutionized pop music. Well, it went on great. I was doing the show every day, six days a week, and then all of a sudden, ownership changed and they fired me. And there I was with nowhere to go, so I started a production company to manage bands, and all my friends said they would help me, but you know how it is? You've got to help yourself, and I used the excuse that nobody helped me. I went out of business and lost everything and bumped into a guy that used to be one of my coordinators from the TV show, a fellow by the name of Fred Saxon. He came running up to me one day, and I was broke. I mean, I owed about $80,000. In those days, that was a lot of money. That was around 1968. He says, Robin, you can get rich in this thing. I just found a company, and without going into detail, it was a network marketing company. It was called Multi-Level Marketing. That's when I first heard of it. I didn't know anything about it, other than they said you can make a lot of money. Well, I joined the company, was a part of the company, and in three months paid back all my debts. And, you know, I found out something that I didn't realize before. Network marketing is really the backbone of our country. And what they kept telling me is, it's people helping people. And I said, come on, I'm making a lot of money. I didn't care. But this company had a lot of training about yourself, about you. And they said, you can't do anything until you do something with self. You've got to change the way you're thinking. You've got to surround yourself with positive-minded people and be in a positive environment. Because what you think about is usually going to happen. That's right. You know, I then learned what the meaning of this was all about, of people getting together, working together, people that didn't have any money or a little bit of money. Because, you know, I learned then that lack of money is not what holds people back. It's lack of desire. And if you've got the desire to do something, you're going to go ahead and do it and listen to people like myself that tells you you can do it, not the people that say, oh, it's one of those deals again. So network marketing saved my life. And from then, I started my own network marketing company with jewelry, party plan, and another one with original oil paintings, and started to grow and grow, and then did consulting for many companies also. And from then, I got back into where I am today with a production company a production company doing all kinds of commercials and infomercials and so forth and so on. 
But I want to tell you something today and in these times especially. Not that you need me to tell you this, but I'll tell you anyway. The backbone of our country today, the salvation of our country today, lies in home-based businesses, direct marketing, network marketing, multi-level marketing, whatever you want to call it. You can do it. You can do anything you want to do. Surround yourself with people who believe that fact also. That's my story.